we know that James Gunn wants the continuity, the canon of the DCU to be consistent and connected between the movies, the TV shows, and potentially for the first time ever, video games. He was pretty clear about that, and he and he you know he reiterated that on a few occasions, especially during their announcement and their press conference that they did, where they brought in a lot of the 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 and you know all the the big journalists and everything, and did this whole presentation on the Warner Brothers lot late last year, a few months into their jo you know jobs as the co CEOs uh, with Peter Safran of the DC Studios. So they have made it pretty clear that they want video games to be a part of this canon. So I, I came across this story that you brought to my attention where in 2008, we, we had this DC versus Mortal Kombat video game. And since then, apparently there were as an opportunity to do an anim, at least an animated, which again, animation, another one of those things right. that is going to be connected in the canon here. Therefore, Creature Commandos is, you know, even though it's an animated show, is going to be part of the larger DC canon. It's not just like a separate thing. So... Apparently, there was uh, some developments on a potential, you know, uh, animated version of Mortal Kombat versus DC. I mean, and, right. and, and, and it just it got stuck somewhere. It never happened. And now I think with the new Mortal Kombat 1 game that is out, we are getting some DLC uh, content that includes Peacemaker. Is that the closest we're going to get to a DC versus Mortal Kombat? And then can you give us a little more background on what, what, what this animated movie might have been about? So. Um, so as you know, that both the Mortal Kombat franchise and of course the DC franchise have animated films, like just to stretch the lore, stretch stories that they can't show in, you know, uh, video games, at least on Mortal Kombat side. So with that, I believe the writer of, um, the Justice War World, the most recent, development in the tomorrow verse uh wanted to pitch a mortal Kombat versus dc animated film because he also did a bunch and i mean a bunch of mortal Kombat animated films which includes like mortal Kombat legends scorpion's revenge Snowblind, battle of the realms that kind of thing um so he wrote all of those in addition to war world and he pitched wb like hey what i've done all these I know Mortal Kombat and I know DC clearly because I've done both. Wouldn't it be awesome referencing the video game from 2008? Wouldn't it be great if we did Mortal Kombat versus DC and then WB was pretty much no. They're like, no, we're not doing that at all. And it just, he's like, I really, and he did say, um, uh, it would be super, super cool, super, super cool. I would love to see a DC Mortal Kombat film. I would love to do it. And unfortunately, it looks like it will never get off the ground unless maybe enough people were like, hey, we're like championing it um, to really uh, to really fight for it, pun intended, to really get this film if, if a lot of fans were happy with it. But I feel like, it was just sort of this thing where it was like, um, oh, wouldn't it be cool? And he wants to work on it, but unfortunately, WB looks like they just want to focus on Tomorrowverse stuff. And then, of course, uh, whatever is can actually canon to the DCU instead of, you know, what they view as like popular mainstream sort of like, oh, taking two franchises like a shtick, like a bad shtick. And doing that, even though it would be fun, I think they want to focus on like creature commandos, whatever might come from that, if it is popular. And then the tomorrow verse, which is I believe the next film is going to be crisis on infinite earths. So I think they're just going to be focusing on that instead of combining franchises that they do have. And look, to be fair, I don't even know. And this is something guys, let us know in the comments if you know any more about this, but it. It, it's very possible that eventually once the DC gets up and running, like truly gets up and running, let's say by 2025, they might go to like these DC animated movies, like, you know, the, the part of the Warner Brothers that produces these DC animated movies um, and tells them like, hey, moving forward, this is all getting rolled into the DCU. So much like on the Marvel side where 
I think people are speculating that even the new the X-Men 97 animated series will probably somehow play into the larger MCU canon. And certainly it looks like the What If series, even though it's all these alternate timelines, is part of the multiverse saga of the MCU, which Kevin Feige has said on multiple occasions that it is. And again, this is me, this is me speculating. I, I, don't, I haven't talked to James Gunn about this. For all I know, he will say, oh, you know what, they can keep doing this, direct to DVD stuff. Although like Best Buy is about to stop selling DVDs, so I don't know. Like that's gonna be that's apparently gonna wipe out like the, a forty five percent market share that Best Buy has in physical media. That's like insane to think about. But uh, as an aside, like I, it's very possible that James Gunn could just say no more DC animated stuff unless it's something that's officially commissioned as part of the DCU. And then of course you look at the live action Mortal Kombat franchise. They have a second movie that is being worked on. The first one wasn't the best movie but the action sequences were pretty fantastic and of course you get that iconic mortal kombat theme music so um even if you just look at that movie and be like oh there were a bunch of good cutscenes in there the story didn't overall make much sense and it just kind of like flew by but like whatever give me another one like yes and then it wasn't it's not a franchise that takes a ton of money to make so on that front i believe warner brothers is happy like kind of letting mortal kombat Kind of grow and bud on it on its own including the video game and as far as crossovers with dc go i feel like they're they might look into it down the road um yeah. but even if they do they might think about it as like an elseworld situation more so than let's cross them over with the mainline dcu um or certainly mm-hmm. to do that that it's it's gonna happen like years from now because i can imagine that it, you know, like a war, war world sort of situation, these characters kind of get pulled into this alternate, which is basically what Mortal Kombat is as a franchise. But like, you know, you kind of pull the DC characters into it and have this kind of one-off adventure. Um, I just don't think it's conducive to a universe that's like a brand new universe that is only just about to get off the ground. This is something that you probably do for something that's well-established. Or if you do it now, you do it in like a very alternate, like again, like an else world sort of a, environment and to that end i don't think like this not happening now is the end of this idea because if you do it right there's a lot of creative merit to this idea um i can so see i mean you just have to go look at that game like if you have played the 2008 video game it was a lot of fun to kind of play like you know mortal Kombat characters are facing off against a batman or superman and um i would love to see that like potentially even realized in live action but um and in this case of course you know the, the two franchises are under the same studio so they can kind of decide who wins and loses and blah 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 whereas like a marvel yeah. versus dc there's always you're never gonna let like marvel's never gonna want one of their characters to lose to a dc character and vice versa like in this case you can sort of you know um do that because warner it's the same warner brothers under it all guys let us know in the comments what do you think is this something you'd like to see would you like to see a live action mortal Kombat versus dc movie tv series like a limited series maybe like an elseworlds thing maybe it could be something like where they cross over the current live action uh mortal Kombat franchise with another live action version of a dc franchise whether it's the current dcu the the older dceu and that's how we get Henry Cavill back in the cape, um, and or, or Ben Affleck with the, with the cow, um, or or maybe we get like an animated thing. Maybe, maybe Zack Snyder comes back and says, "You know what? I'll make this happen." Like, because I know all, I I can totally pull this off visually. So many slow mo shots, like it will be so amazing. I, I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this idea. DC versus Mortal Kombat is always fun. Has always been fun. I'm sure there's going to have be more on that front in the future. It just seems like right now with DC being where it is with a full on reset and Mortal Kombat where it is with their franchise, the movies and the games, it just doesn't seem like a right time for this to happen. So let us know in the comments below what you think and like to subscribe for more content like this. Of course, we are back here each and every day with DC daily content, news, updates, reviews, previews, all that and so much more all things DC.